Welcome to this bonus easy sublimation tips and tricks video. My name is Jamie and I'm the creator of Coffee in My Kitchen. Today we're going to talk all about sublimation. Are you ready? Let's go. Tip number one, choose quality sublimation blanks. Start with high quality sublimation blanks specifically designed for sublimation printing. The better the quality of the blank, the more vibrant the colors in your final project will look. Tip number two, design and cut with precision. In Cricut Design Space, ensure your designs are the correct size and properly aligned with your sublimation blanks before cutting. Double check the measurements of the sublimation blanks against the image size to ensure that the final design will fit on your blank. Tip number three, weed carefully. When working with infusible ink transfer sheets, take your time to weed Remove excess material with precision. You can use tweezers, a weeding tool, being very careful not to rip the transfer sheet, or even your fingers. Tip number four, keep your blanks clean. Keep excess lint, debris, or hair away from your blank, as these particles will cause blemishes in the final design. Use lint rollers or a lint-free cloth to clean your blanks before heating. Tip number five, tape securely. Use heat resistant tape to secure your design in place on the blank. The tape will prevent the transfer sheet from shifting on the blank during pressing, ensuring a crisp image. Tip number six, apply even pressure. When using a heat press, apply even pressure across the entire design if the project calls for applied pressure. This step ensures an even transfer of the sublimation ink onto the final design. Tip number seven, protect your heat press. Always place a fresh white butcher paper sheet between your design and the heat press to prevent ink from sticking to the press. Tip number eight, timing matters. Follow the recommended time and temperature settings for your sublimation blanks and ink. Double check the heating instructions as timing can vary depending on the materials you're using. Tip number nine, cool down. Allow your sublimation blanks to cool down before handling to avoid smudging and help the ink to fully set. Tip number 10, test and experiment. It's a good idea to perform test runs on scrap material or less expensive blanks before working on your final project. This extra step will allow you to fine tune your process and settings and save you tons of stress. Bonus tip. Explore different blanks and sublimation projects. Don't limit yourself to just one type of sublimation blank or project. Have fun experimenting with mugs, coasters, apparel, and more to expand your crafting possibilities. Thank you for joining me today. For more Cricut and DIY decor crafts, decluttering, organizing, and home decorating tips and ideas, visit Coffee in My Kitchen at coffeeinmykitchen.com or at coffeeinmykitchen for Instagram and Facebook. We can't wait to see you.